Hello, Zephyr Nation. By now you have all seen the word champs in our hallways and in our classrooms. But what exactly is it? This video will explain each of the champs expectations to you and provide some do's and don'ts for each letter in the acronym. Let's go, let's have some fun. is all about how loud your voice should be in the classroom depending on what activity you're doing. I'm going to show you some examples. The first one is level zero. No talking. Level one is a whisper. Um, many times, level one's used for working with your shoulder partner or if you just need to ask a quick question. Level two is just your normal conversation voice. Be careful, you don't want to be too loud. Just for help. What do you do if you need help? What if you have a question or you're confused? The H is going to let you know the best way to solve your problem, like raising your hand or ask three before me. This group did it perfectly. A is for activity. What's the activity happening in the classroom? The teacher will let you know. For example, is it group collaboration? And are you working with your table group? I'll take an app. No, fabric for clothes. It could be independent seat work. Or maybe it's a shoulder partner collaboration. Either way, the activity is going to tell you what you should be working on. M is for movement. Is it a good time to sharpen my pencil? Throw my trash away? M is for movement. It's going to let you know when and where, like no movement during this time or quick and quiet. P is for participation. How should I be actively participating? like slant. Slant is sit up, lean in, activate your thinking, notes a nod, and track the teacher. Here's All right, Mimi. Mimi, show your slant. Sit up, lean in, activate your thinking, notes a nod, and track the teacher. <laughs> Add all the letters together, C-H-A-M-P, you get S success. 